yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. I have a black smudge on my head. <laughs> this is Steph for the Cantina, your friendly neighborhood barkeep, Wookie Wrangler, Chaos Coordinator, Smuggler, uh, Coordinator, Scoundrel Coordinator, and um, Bar Manager, Bar Owner. I want to talk to you about some big news, more big news, that I think is somehow related to yesterday's. Uh, as we know, it's all over the place. Bob Iger abruptly stepped down as CEO of Disney. Okay. A guy named Bob Chapek is now taking over. He ran the parks. Now he's CEO. Um, lots of speculation of why this is going on. Uh, today I was noticing the stock prices for Disney went down to $122. Um, it's a, it had a five point drop today. This is big. Uh, I looked at D Disney's debt. Um, and a little known thing that not a whole lot of people know, but I'm going to tell you. They are in the hole for, you know, companies like to have cash on hand, right? Liquid assets. They are negative $750 million dollars in liquid assets and cash on hand. They they are literally that deep in debt there. Okay, add that to the revised numbers of $59 billion in debt. They're the, they have the second highest debt of all the corporations that, that they're, they're on, uh, on the list I saw. They have the second highest debt after AT&T. Pretty big shit. And this all happened under Bob Iger, but we're not here to talk about Bob Iger. The big news today is Steven Spielberg stepped down as director of Indiana Jones 5 and he's taking over the the, uh, uh, the hands-on producer's chair. He was going to executive produce, now he's actually going to produce. Um, some people speculated, well, you know, he's burned out, blah, 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 creatively. Creatively, he's just washed up. No, this is, being a hands-on producer is kind of your work and you're not just sitting back signing checks. You are out there on the production every day, okay? And the two people who are also producing are Frank Marshall and Kathleen Kennedy. This is where it gets kind of weird. Why did this happen? I have no doubt Spielberg had one more Indiana Jones movie. I, I do not believe that he's that creative, creatively bankrupt with a decent script in Harrison Ford that he couldn't do it. Okay, so don't don't tell me that. All right. Something is going on. Now, we know a few weeks ago there was a big meeting, big powwow at, between, you know, Lucasfilm and, and Disney. And Iger was there. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy was there. I'm sure Michelle Rejwan was there. Filoni, Favreau, J.J. Abrams. Why was he there? All right. This gets thick. And in the middle of Kathleen running your mouth. Iger basically said, just a second. Just, he basically told her to shut her mouth. And Anne walks George F. N. Lucas. Okay, this is a story that came from one of the main studios at Disney and not Lucasfilm. And this came from very high up at that studio. Okay, let's put it this way, Veep's talk. Okay, a lot. And they talk to a lot of people. So this is going on. Now, fast forward today. We got Indy 5. We have Harrison Ford saying they were ready to go. A few days later, he said there's some scheduling issues. Uh, la, la, la. Who knows what that means? But it is going to be made. He has not left the production. I don't see him doing that. Uh, he would never... I mean, this is... Let's put it this way, Harrison Ford loves Indy. He loves playing the role. He, he that, uh, for some weird reason, you know, there's, I think part of it is Indy is his character. He's not sharing uh, the limelight as a supporting character to anybody else, which I think is part of the problem in Star Wars, but I have speculation that, that there's another reason too. And I'm not gonna say it publicly. But people who know me know what I'm talking about. Um, he just loves Indy. And if they had to shut down production or decided not to do it, it would break my heart for him because he really loves this character. And I really think 
to let Indy go out beautifully would be perfect for everybody involved, especially Ford. So this is not necessarily bad news, but it's worrisome. James Mangle, like I said, is being tapped to direct. He's in talks right now. He's a very good director. Um, I have full confidence in him to be able to do what he does. Again, the elephants in the room are Kennedy and Marshall. If Spielberg is going to be a hands-on producer, like going from executive producer to producer, something isn't kosher there, okay? I can't tell you what it is, but if Kennedy literally has been removed from all creative input, she might not be even allowed anywhere near Indiana Jones. Okay. A lot of people were worried that she would ruin it. I don't really see her being allowed to ruin it. And also, and this is very interesting, she doesn't like, I don't think she likes James Mangold, right? The guy comes off as an alpha. He comes off as an alpha male director, which is what you want in movies of this caliber, which is what, which is what you want for epic blockbusters. I mean, what would we have gotten had somebody like him directed all three sequel trilogies with Lucas's ideas? You know, of course, I'm always going to go to Ridley Scott because I love Ridley Scott. I think he's, that guy's awesome, period, full stop. I mean, he is just fan-fucking-tastic. Enough about that. So what does this mean? Or what does this mean? Where is Where are Kennedy and Marshall in all this if they're producing, but Steven Spielberg is also doing the same job they're doing? So either somebody is not going to be part of that team, and it's probably Kennedy, or they're both gone. All right. And I really think that people worrying about Kathleen Kennedy ruining Indiana Jones 5 are really don't have a lot to say, really don't have a lot to stand on here. This is a bizarre sort of predicament, all right? Did not see this coming, just like we didn't see last night's issues with Iger coming, all right? I thought that Disney shares would have to go below $100 before they ever would think about getting rid of them. And, and there we are. You know, they did a CEO swap. That, that's the variety article out now. They're trying to pat down speculation. It's like, you know, PR bullshit. Well, we know he got fired. What's going on with Indy 5, though? Why is Spielberg now taking over Kennedy and Marshall's place? And there lies the rub. This is Steph sending out a well, actually. I'll see you around the lecture hall. See you later. I came here to save you. Oh, yeah? And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Oh, this is Don't call me Junior. Look what you did. I can't believe what you did.